Now this question it says the diagonals of a quadrilateral ABCD intersect each other at the point O such that AO over BO is equal to CO over DO. Show that ABCD is a trapezium. We have to prove this ABCD as a trapezium means if we prove somehow AB is parallel to CD, this quadrilateral can be said or can be shown as a trapezium. Okay. To do that, let's draw two perpendiculars, one from A on this point, let's make it P and one from B here on this point. This is Q, this is P. Both are perpendiculars means 90 degrees. Okay. What we have here is AO over BO equals to CO over DO. If I rewrite it, can I write it as AO into DO equals to CO into BO? CO over OA and DO over BO. Is that possible? Yes, that is possible. So now it is DO over OB equals to CO over OA. Let's take area of triangle ADO. Area of triangle ADO would be half into base, base is OD, into height, height can be AP. Since AP is perpendicular on BD by construction, we have taken AP perpendicular on BD, we have taken BQ perpendicular on AC. Then I write area of triangle AOB, which can be if I take OB as base and AP as height. If I write it this way, area of triangle ADO over area of triangle AOB, this would be this will be cancelled half. And AP will be cancelled. This will be OD over OB. Here, if I take area of triangle BOC, this would be half into base, which is CO, into height, which is BQ, since BQ is perpendicular on AC. And area of triangle AOB will be half into, this time I take OA as base, I did AO into BQ. So area of triangle BOC over area of triangle AOB would be, this will be cancelled, BQ will be cancelled, so it will be CO over AO. Now you see, CO over AO is this. OD over OB is this and here CO over AOA is equal to OD over OB. So I take this as 1. So I'll write, I will write from 1 area of triangle AOD over area of triangle AOB will be equal to area of triangle BOC over area of triangle AOB. Okay. Now you see, this can be cancelled. If you do cross multiplication, AOB will go this side, AOB will go this side. We can easily cancel it. So, what we, at the end we get is area of triangle AOD is equal to area of triangle BOC. AOD, area of this and area of BOC will be equal. Now let's move ahead. We have area of AOD equals to area of triangle BOC. Okay. 
what is the area of triangle ADB? Area of triangle ADB would be area of triangle AOD plus area of triangle AOB. An area of triangle ABC would be area of triangle BOC plus area of triangle AOB. ADB this area plus this area. ABC this area plus this area. Now since area of triangle AOD is equal to area of triangle BOC and we have AOB common in both, I can write as area of triangle ADB will be equal to area of triangle ABC. Now, area of triangle ADB and area of triangle ABC both have been proved as equal. Now, triangle ABD and triangle ABC both have common basis. You see, ABD and ABC both have common base, this, and both are between two lines, AB and DC. So, I write, both are between AB and CD. So, let like as per Converse of theorem where two triangles having same bases and between parallel lines have same area as per that theorem, AB would be parallel to CD. Since ABD and ABC have equal area, common base, it means AB would be parallel to CD. This is as per the theorem we studied into areas of triangle in class 9th. So when AB is parallel to CD, we can say quadrilateral ABCD is a trapezium. Now, right, since AB is parallel to CD, we can say quadrilateral ABCD is a trapezium. Because trapezium has one pair of opposite sides, they are parallel. And we have proved AB is parallel to CD. It means quadrilateral ABCD is a trapezium. Alright?